Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Every time Apple release a new device, in this case, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we are ready to move to iOS. And I want to move all my data, all my pictures, all my videos from the Android device to the new iPhone 13. So how can we do this? One of the best ways to do it is using the app that Apple created to move from Android to iOS. On this video, we're gonna use the Move to iOS app. If you already start using your iPhone, make sure you do an iCloud backup before restarting the iPhone. In order to restore the iPhone, we need to go to Settings, General, scroll down, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Click there, and you're gonna click Erase All Contents and Settings. Erase this iPhone. Erasing will sign out of your Apple ID and remove your personal data. I'll say Continue, and now they're asking us to sign in to Apple ID so we can reset the phone. We cannot reset the phone if we don't sign in to the Apple ID. It says, are you sure you want to continue? All media, data, and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. Erase iPhone. And now my iPhone is gonna be factory reset. It's gonna delete all the content. It's gonna erase everything. And it's gonna be as new. If you just got your new iPhone 13, you don't have to do this because your phone is gonna come up like this. All right, guys, so let's start setting up the new iPhone. I'm gonna select the language, English, United States. Quick start, we're gonna click set up manually. We do need to sign in to a Wi-Fi. Every time you set up a new iPhone, the iPhone is gonna talk to the Apple servers to make sure that everything is fine. So data and privacy, we're gonna click continue. Face ID, we're gonna set it up later. Create a passcode. We're gonna say, don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. This is the screen that we need, guys. Apps and data. Move data from Android. Look at this. Move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. So that's what we're gonna do. Look, we're gonna tap here and look at this. QR code for Google Play. And look at this. Once we do this, you see this? This is the link that the QR code gave us. So you're gonna click here and that's gonna give you the link. And you can do go to website and it's gonna take us directly to the Move to iOS app. If we don't use the QR code, we will need to open the Play Store and search here for Move to iOS. The same result, okay? So we're gonna install the Move to iOS app on the Android device. Move to iOS, continue. Terms and condition, agree. Send app usage, don't send. Allow Move to iOS to access your device location. You're gonna say, while using the app. Device location is required to transfer data. So we just need to turn on the location, the GPS. Once we turn it on, we can go back. We just click agree, find your code, continue. And it says here, enter the one-time code. On this screen, the move from Android, and we're gonna click continue. That's gonna give us a code. We're gonna input that code here. And it says, continue to connect to the Wi-Fi network created by your iOS device. We're gonna click continue. Connect to device, connect, connection successful, authenticating, transfer data. Look at this. Choose what you would like to copy to your iOS device. So select messages, allowed, contacts, allowed, calendar, allowed, camera roll, allowed. And if you want to add a specific file like PDF files, you can add files here. You can find it on your Android, select it, and it will buck it up too. It will move it to the iPhone. We're going to click continue. And now all the process is started. Move to iOS. Do not turn off this device until the transfer is complete. I don't have a lot of data, so this is gonna be fast. I forgot to mention that I have a micro SD card on this Android device, and any information on that card is gonna pass to the iPhone too. Transfer complete, right? There you go, guys. This is what you want to see. Transfer complete. Some items were not copied, such as purchase apps or media that is saved within apps. All the data and information that is on the Android device is gonna stay there. Nothing's gonna be deleted. So if you change your mind and want to go back to Android, you can do that without any problems, all right? So in the meantime, we're just gonna click done. And that's it. We finished with the Android. Now let's continue with the iPhone. Continue setting up iPhone. Apple ID. So we do need to log into our Apple ID in order to transfer all the apps, guys. So this is very important. Don't skip this. A message with a verification code has been sent to your other devices running iOS 10 or Mac OS Sierra or later. Enter the code to continue. And you can see here on this computer, I'm using the same Apple ID than on my iPhone. So that's why I'm getting the confirmation on my computer. I'm gonna click allow and I'm gonna put that code here. And that's it. 
terms and conditions, agree from the Android to the iPhone. Look at this, make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone, apps and data and settings. I'm gonna click continue, Siri later. Welcome to iPhone. Add your Android device apps from the app store. So I'm gonna click add apps. And they're gonna ask me again to sign in to my Apple ID. Edit home screen, dismiss. And you can see here, guys, that all the apps that used to be on my Android, they are moving, they're installing automatically on my new iPhone by using the Move to iOS app. Finish up setting iPhone, not now. This is the beauty of the Move to iOS app because I'm downloading all the apps without doing anything, pretty much. If I didn't have this, I will have to go to the App Store and download one by one. All the messages got transferred, look at this. All the pictures got transferred. And the videos too, the contacts. And that concludes the tutorial, guys. We successfully moved from Android to iOS to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. I hope you like this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In that way, you will help me creating more videos. And I see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.